All right, guys, what you see here is a full package heading to his final destination today. As you guys have seen here, it's a big company made by Schneider Electric Xantrex XW6048 Inverter Charger made by Xantrex. So, guys, you can see you have a lithium batteries here Nissan leaf lithium batteries which is a 7 kilowatt so this system is going to be wired in um, in two strings of sevens which gives it a total of a uh, uh, 14s so from here one two three four five six seven is one string one two three four five six seven one string they already already lined them up the way they should uh, you have to parallel them or you have to connect them you know um if you take a bus bar here here this and this this and that this and this this and that all the way then you end up with one end and one end here and that gives you one string you just use the same thing here apply to this and get it to a bus bar and set up the um um so you parallel this is one string and one string so it's a 3.5 kilowatt 3.5 kilowatt total of 7 kilowatt so each battery is a 60 66 amp hours 66 amp hour each and each battery is 500 watt 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 that makes it a 7 kilowatt okay 500 watt each and it's going to be working with this great guy here made by Midnight Solar, which is a Midnight Solar Classic 296 amps. You can see right here. And uh, powered by the Connect um, here. You're going to see that. That's the, con that's the control control panel. Okay, this mid 2017, and this is a connect the SCP for XW plus an SW. All right, so this is the thing. This is the inverter charger. It has a lot of. This is a six kilowatt, six thousand watt, six thousand watt, forty eight volt. Guys, this is the deal, and here is the um, Midnight Classic, two hundred. It takes a two hundred volt. And solar here it is so you have a temperature sensor you have the uh, USB for up updating the firmware for this guy <clears throat> and this is a very good machine made in USA by um, midnight solar it's a big company and uh, the batteries are from Nissan leaf Okay, it's a Nissan Leaf <clears throat> batteries here. So it's a seven kilowatts, and this is what we're dealing with here, live here at a JW Solar USA. If you haven't subscribed, you're wondering. This is the system, and this is gonna go to a happy home, and uh, which gonna utilize this system really, really well, and uh, they'll love it just a matter of adding batteries if they want to in the future or whatever they want to run the system for you can see all the, um, the specifications here on the system the voltage this one can do 120 240 as well so you can do a split face you can use a 120 if you want or you can use 240 see right there AC output 120 240 so 60 hertz this is for the u.s all right great machine you can see a huge transformer in there big one it's heavy i think it's over 90 pounds or something 90 to 100 pounds so guys uh be careful it's really heavy you have to get some of the other thing that I left you have to get the mounting thing because in the back here you can see where it's supposed to be mounted this is uh not brand new this is used so but it's a very good condition and um this is what it is and uh guys 
This is a sweet, sweet, awesome, awesome system made by Zantrex, or which is Snyder Electric, live here at the JW Solo USA. And guys, subscribe, like, and share. Okay? Stand by. Maybe you're going to be seeing videos coming for this. This is the control panel here, which can tell you. You can read the battery LED. It can tell you the state of charge on your battery, the percentage. And it can tell you how many kilowatts you're making. And this one can sell the power back to the grid. Okay? It's a lot of functionality. You can have AC1, AC2. You can connect to the grid to charge. Or you can use a generator to, to hook up into this. Okay? Fault light. You can use an AGM. Sea lead acid, flooded acid. You can use this uh, uh, for lithium as well because you have a custom setup. You can set it so that you can able to uh, use it on lithium. And you can see the voltage input of this thing. On the battery side, um, AC in, okay, DC output. Let's look at DC input. See that? so 47 to 58 so these batteries can you can set them at uh the way they are right now is, is 50 i think it's 56.7 so 56.7 perfect design for these for this machine perfect so i already arranged everything and make sure all the configuration and all the settings gonna work well with this uh machine so you see that 40 something to 50 so DC input maximum current 160 amps so guys and look at this so this is a fantastic system is a good 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 deal or oh, here on the inverter mode is a DC input voltage range is a 44 to 64 see what I'm saying this is for the utility I was reading earlier. If you're charging from the utility, you can charge the batteries from 40 something to 58. You cannot bring it all the way to the 64. So a battery is going to be well, well, perfectly for that. It's going to be 57, 56.7. So it's going to sit right on this. The voltage coming from the grid is, is, is just enough the voltage to charge the DC voltage, charge those batteries all the way. And, um, the output you can do from 211 to 264 and here is the DC input from 60 from 44 from 44 here to 60 64 so you can customize a lot of lithium batteries to work with this system live here JW Solar USA thanks for watching love you guys all bye for now bye bye